the purpose of the Minnesota Space Grant is to get students interested in outer space and spacecraft. And uh, using a weather balloon, you can actually lift packages high enough that it looks like you're in outer space. And you have to think very hard about th those conditions to make these things survive and to get good scientific data. So essentially, this is practice for a real space flight. Professor Flotten really gives us a good opportunity to do stuff that you probably wouldn't be doing until more like your junior or senior year when you're doing more research. They built individual packages that contained cameras and various experimental sensors, and then we flew these on Halloween a few weeks ago now, and they went up to 112,000 feet before they came back down, and we got lots of very interesting data. Our particular payload used a filter wheel trying to take pictures of different layers of the atmosphere. And we actually learned that the best pictures you can get from that are without a filter in the first place. This is part of a class. I do this during the summer with students on what I call my ballooning team. But this particular exhibit is an exhibit from a freshman seminar class that was offered uh, here in the fall of 2009. Basically, this is a way to motivate students to think about space as a possible career. I took this class because I thought it would kind of give me an idea of if it's what I want to do. I was originally going into mechanical engineering, so I thought that this would be on the same line and just in case I wanted to get more specific and go into aerospace. Um, now it looks like I'm going to switch into biomed instead, but still the experience with the team building, I think that's invaluable no matter what major you're in.